Every face is like a map of a different place. A map that leads to one spot, unique in its own. Looking at someone, we see facial details that are so complex that it's beyond our possibility to fully replicate them. Translating that spark of life into a world of computer graphics is a bold challenge to say the least. We can see them in computer games and apps, shades of human emotions that are just a simple optimization of such a complex visual riddle. Having said that, this is the beginning of that path. We use advanced scanning technology to gather every detail possible. As for animation, we still rely on the real world, replicating character movements using more and more sophisticated motion capture technology. The final outcome is based upon a lot of factors, but the most important is the level of detail. As they say, the devil is in the details. But even when we succeed in some sense in creating a model, that is just the first stage. It is still not a living, breathing thing because life is movement. The Holy Grail is to recreate facial expressions. Motion capture is the most commonly used technology for facial animation. It is certainly the fastest we've had yet. There is one more technique, one more complex, but it gives us a lot larger data pool from real life. It is called blend shape animation. Those shapes are 100% based on 3D scans of a specific real facial expression. So instead of sampling just 50, 60, or even 100 points on a human face by motion capture, then relying on software to figure out interpolation on an entire 3D model, with blend shape animation, a scanned facial expression samples the entire surface of the face. That is the point when we can get close to the final goal a live digital human that is a natural part of your imagined fantasy world. A digital copy of a living, breathing human being. A spark of life in the digital world.